Football Manager 2022 Nottingham Forest updated player ratings, bro. Um, can't shout no, can't shout no one out because this is my idea. You get me, man. Ran out of fucking ideas and man went to Nottingham Forest because they just got promoted to the Premier League. I think they won the playoffs or something like that. Anyway, we're going to see what squad you'll be dealing with if you're taking over this team, starting off with honest status of the club. Nicknamed the Reds and obviously no content of the competition. They weren't in the Premier League for like 20... Listen, it's been over 20 years since they've been in the Premier League, so um, that's an achievement in itself. And they're predicted to finish fifth in-game. Let's get into the squad. All right, for the squad, we're going from Jordan Smith all the way to Sam Surridge. So let's see what the squad is saying, you get me? So, all right, first player they've got is a backup goalkeeper, man, like Jordan Smith. Um, yeah, don't play this guy, don't waste your time. Um, no one's going to play this guy, you're going to release him immediately. 2.5k a week, you are shagging yourself with that. Let's be real, 26. Was, listen, man's 26. Get off this card. So, all right, next we've got um, Ethan Horvath, bruv. Cool. Um, 26, first choice goalkeeper. Um, man's actually got a little bit of value, you get me? Um, valued at around a mil. On, on the maximum thing, which isn't that bad. He's 26 and he's American. Yeah, big up for the... Whatever. Anyway, um, 40 reflexes, 30 in agility, 61 and ones. That's not that bad if you ask me. For a goalkeeper to fan, I don't know why a man's doing sweeper-keeper support when he's got flipping eight passing. Don't do that. You get me? Don't do that. It's not It's not, It's not. not adapting. Listen, man needs to just stop the shots and do what he's good at. You get me? Don't try and be certain you're not, bro. You get me? It's, it's long, bruv. All right. Um, last player we've got for the goalkeepers is Bryce Samba. Um, I've heard of this guy before. His stats aren't that bad as well. Um, for a goalkeeper defense, which we've actually met him, which is really good. Um, 50 reflexes, 40 in agility, 41 one one's very good. Can't lie. Um, let's just see where he's been in his career. Um, yeah, no one really cares about that. Let's be real. But anyway, other player overall, he's not that bad. Yeah, sign the ball as well for a struggle save and a struggle save only. Because if you've got money, you won't sign this guy. So. All right, um, first outfield player, yeah, like I've said. Well, I don't even think I've said it, but I ain't watched um, Nottingham for his play, so I'm just going off what I see from the stats. So when I like say man shit, I'm talking about his stats. He actually might be good in real life. That's my disclaimer. But yeah, first of all, we've got man like Steve Cook, yeah? Um, man's been cooking at Bournemouth for 10 years. He's probably a Bournemouth legend. Um, yeah, he probably is. He's been there for how long? Since 2011. And he just left there as well for 250k. So, um, yeah, they, they clearly rate him because they sold him for that much. But anyway, um, he's 30. Very good tackling, good positioning as well. He's got no pace, but at least he knows where to be in it. Um, on the ball, 12 to 8 vision, 11 passes, not that good. Um, first touch, 12, not bad. 12 composure, not bad. Um, he's decent. Um, I think he would be a decent... Yeah, essentially, I agree with that. Listen, in the championship, he's not, he's not that bad. Let's be real. Um, yeah, in the Premier League, however... Highlands, don't play this guy. Um, he's gonna get fucked. Let's be real. But anyway, man, like Steve could not that bad. Alright, next you've got a 24 year old Joe Worrell. Um, yeah. So central defender once again. 10, 10, 8, 7 vision, 12 passing. That is dead. Man's got composure of 13. Not that bad. 15 work. I mean, 15 heading, 16 jumping reach, and that's cool as well. 14 tackling and 15 shots. So yeah, I'm looking at him like a no nonsense defender. If you make him a no nonsense, yeah, um, probably I can't even say cover because the acceleration's so dead. But make him a no nonsense. Make him just win the ball. But um, then again, that's if. If you play him, if I if I see a better centre back than this guy, he's not starting. I'll tell you that for free in it. So, uh, next one they've got is man like Loic Imbe So. So he's twenty. So man sees a twenty year old. I'm looking. Okay, he's probably got a lot of potential. But then I see. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's probably gonna be harder for this guy to put a comb through that picky hair. Yeah. Then for a flipping attacker to get past the minute, let's just put it like that. Because right now, I mean, eleven composure, I'm um, thirteen tackling. He's got a bit of fundamentals, but it's 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 a it's a mare kind of thing because he's twenty. So I don't want to say that he's shit, but it's it's yeah. And he's a no nonsense as well. Yeah, you know what? He's loan listed for a reason, isn't it? Man's I'm not enough for us. We're in the Premier League now. We can't be really relying on man that are maybe ifs, bruv. You get me? Man like Loic Mbe. So fuck it. Fuck. And next we've got man like Tobias Figueredo, bruv. I'm looking at the name like yeah. Let me see some saucy footballer. And I see man with 10 technical ability, so it's a big disappointment. And he's 27 as well. And he's got no legs. At least he knows where to be with 14 tackling, not that bad. No nonsense defender, 15 heading, 40 jump reach, 15 strength, not that bad. For what I need, he's good at it. And for everything else, well, he doesn't need it, but he literally can't do anything else anyway. Yeah, fuck it. You'll never use him and he'll probably get sold as well. Squad player for Norwich. I mean, not enough for us, yeah. And next we've got my like Scott McKenna. Um, Scottish, you get me? Big up, big up. Um, anyway, central defender, 10, 10, 8 vision and 10 passing, not that bad. 14 tackling. Well, yeah, that is bad. What am I talking about? Um, 
he's probably a no nonsense. I don't know why it's a central defender. Um, 15 strength, and you know what? Uh, yeah, he's he's just bang average. Nothing really special. He's 24 as well. He's just bang average. He's got one of the fakest traits that I've seen in my life. With plays, wait, brings ball out of defense. How? I'm looking at the set. How does he even do that? Man's got seven dribbling. I don't know how he does it. I can't lie. Seven dribbling. Um, first touch, 10. 10 technique, 8 vision, 10 part. Who is he bringing the ball out to? Definitely not on the ground. With his hands. Maybe when he's got the ball in his hands, yeah, he's, he's doing that, innit? Like, but not on not on the ground. Not with his feet. No way. No way. I don't believe that. You get me? And if you've got another 20-year-old man like Jonathan Panzo. Um, cool. Left back and centre back. We met him on fullback attack. He's got 10 dribbling and, I mean, yeah, 10 dribbling and 11 crossing, which is dead. 11 decisions, dead. And 12 technique, 11 vision, 12 passing. Also, it's, that's better, but still fucking dead, let's be real. Um, at least he's got 14 strength, 14 pace, so physically he's good. But um, as an actual footballer, it's very worrying, can't lie. Um, loan him out, because you're never going to use this guy. I saved you a lot, a lot of time. Well, you, you can see that for yourself, I'm not going to lie. So, next, we've got my like, Gay Tan Bong. You will definitely think that he's been smoking weed when you see him take a first touch, bruv. I'm telling you, look at him, man like Bong, yeah? I don't want to see this guy on the pitch. Can't lie, he's a fullback defend, but that's by force because the way he's going to be getting fucked, bruv. Let's be real. I know he's got very good positioning and he's got good tackling. To give, it, to give him credit, I'm not even going to lie, he's actually not that bad, yeah? But as an actual footballer, it's not happening. I'll be real. You can't play football with this guy in it. Like, he can only... Imagine someone's there only to win the ball, but they can't do anything else. That is what we're dealing with right now, which is why he's 33, he's valued at 16K, and he's transfer listed. Sick. All right, next we've got my like Jed Spence. Um, this is the guy that's been making a lot of noise for not only on Forest, yeah? Um, I didn't know that he was on loan, especially not from flipping middles, bro. Um, he started off at Fulham, which is very good, bruv. Um, right now, he's 20 as well. Not doing too bad, I'll be real. I'm happy for him. But unfortunately, and this is only because of the game, his stats would make you think that he's an absolute dickhead in, in, in real life. That's what the stats say. That's what the stats are saying. But obviously, he wouldn't be getting that much attention if he was this bad. And the stats definitely tell me that. Defensively, he's getting fucked every single time because 11 tackling, you can't rely on that. Going forward, it's maybe because 8 decisions doesn't back up 13 dribbling and 12 crossing at all. The only thing that he's got, which he probably has in real life, which they put in the game, is pace. That's it. So yeah, we'll see what happens um, on the update because they're going to update. Yeah. So. And if you've got my like, Jack Cole back, bruv, cool. Um... Yeah, what's he, what's he really good at? I'm looking right now. What's he actually good at? Um, so, yeah, the greens that he's got is aggression, bravery, teamwork, and work rate. Yeah. Um, so, I don't... Yeah, f fucking... I'll, hold on one sec, one sec. What is he? What has he actually done? Yeah. And you know what? Listen, if you have self-belief, you can do anything, literally. This is pure evidence, bruv. This guy, he can't play football, you know? There's guys out there, real, li real life, can't sing, but they're singers, bruv. You get me? Auto tune will save you. Um, and but anyway, Jack Colbeck is just a perfect example. Confidence can get you anywhere, and this guy can't play football. But man, think he can play football. But stats tell me it's not really happening for this guy. I can't lie. Anyway, fuck. And next we've got Max Low on loan. Cool. Um, wing back defend, fighting tackling, not that bad. Positioning twelve, but he's got higher off the ball. Well, he is a wing back, so that's kind of calm. Um, fighting dribbling eleven flair. Going forward, he's not too bad. He's twenty four. He's on loan. Um, 14 pace, 14 acceleration, off the ball, 13. Pivot, all 11 and above, two 13s in there. He's not that bad, you know. I'm not going to lie. He has, he's actually not that bad. I would make this slow move permanent. I'll be real. That's what I would do. Especially if I'm managing Nottingham Forest. Yeah, we need these kind of guys. He, if he's valued at a million, if you could get this for a million, I think that's a bargain. That's my personal opinion. And I don't think he's that bad of a footballer at all. According to the stats, he could be shit in real life. But yeah, in game, he's not that bad. All right, next we've got my like Richie... Laria, um, cool, 26, right back, left back, sent, wait, cap, yeah, cam, CDM, right wing, um, in reality, you don't want to put this guy cam, in reality, even on the wing is a fucking stretch, because he's got 11 technical abilities, first touch is 12, the guy's 26, bruv, this is what I mean, confidence is so, is so powerful, when they say fake it till you make it, yeah, man is really looking at that right now, like, yeah, these man, they really blagged it, they, they blagged their way to the top, bruv, they really blagged their way to the top, because these man, they can't play football, bruv, let's be real, these aren't actual footballers, these are actually fucking stunters, they're liars, but I rate it, because it's confidence, and you're getting, you're getting paid to chat shit, who wouldn't do that, 
everyone would fucking do that, bruv. You get me? Man like Richie Liar. That's his new name. So, and next we've got man like James Garner. Um, I remember him from them FM 18 or is it FM 19 or 20? Probably FM 20. Um, them, them Man United saves, yeah, where this guy's in the youth team. You send him out alone, he comes back. You could probably put him in the first team even now because he's got pretty much the similar stats that you had back in the back in those days, yeah? Um, his value's like that, and it's not like that for no reason, because right now he's only 20. He can, he's got a lot of the fundamentals, you get me? On loan from Man United, and he could probably start in their midfield right now, especially if you've got flipping McMuffin in that midfield, yeah? Man can start in there. I can't lie, I'll start going over flipping McMayo any day of the week. I don't give a fuck, bruv, you get me? Yeah, um, first touch, um, well, yeah, literally he's got everything. 14, 14, 14, 15s, everywhere I need for a deep line playmaker, really. Like, listen, he's he's a very good player. And he's got some that you don't need. For example, um, determination, teamwork, both green. Shoots from distance, don't really agree with that, but he's got 30 long shots. He's not that bad. He's a very good player, man, like James Garner. Um, yeah, he can start for Man United in real life. Remember I said that. And next we've got man like Harry Arta. Um, yeah, you, you're you not really going to miss anything with this guy. He's 31 and one of his best stats literally is his tackling, but I don't really care about that. Like, I really don't care. 30, yeah, fuck it. He's, he's flipping transfer listed, yeah? There's no point, fuck it. Right, next we've got my like Ryan Yates, bruv. Cool. Um, This guy is a ball in the midfield of the, on, on the fend. Cool. Um, Kind of similar to Thomas Suchek in a way. Let me explain, yeah, because he's not really that good technically, but physically. Oh, wait, I see 13 strength. So, yeah, he hasn't really got the physical strength either, but he's just got mad height. The way he uses his height to be effective, I see his trait right now as well. Um, he would run late into the box, score fucking headers. That's probably what he does, isn't it? Um, yeah, I, I don't really think you should be relying on someone like that. Squad player, not that bad. You get me? If he had a better first touch, I would actually make him a squad player. But for now, I'll sell him. That's me, in it? Because man could have made him a little Fellaini if he had a good first touch, but you don't. So he can't be Fellaini. You can be flipping Ryan Yates on the bench for fucking Nottingham Forest. All right, next we've got fucking Cafu, bruv, you get me? Um, yeah, so as a deep-playing playmaker, yeah, we've seen a 20-year-old James Garner show this guy how it's really done. Change your name, G, because you don't fucking deserve that, bruv, you get me? Let's be real, I don't give a fuck. Listen, man can't be calling himself Cafu if you can... Okay, um, you know, his stats aren't that bad, but they're not good either. So he's shit and good at the same time, but good is very subjective. I mean, shit and okay at the same time. Yeah, that's what he is, literally. He's just, he's got he's got a lot, but at the at the maximum level of like 13 on average, yeah, he's, he, I can't lie, you would never, I, I don't think I'll use this guy personally. I'll sell him, get some money. Well, then again, that's if anyone tries to buy him, which I don't think they will, in my opinion. See? And this, you've got man like Brian, Ojeda, cool. 21, ball in the midfielder on support. 11 technical ability, 11 vision and 13 passing and he's got 12 tackling. Dead. That is terrible. Um, let's be real. Um, 12 dribbling, 12 finishing. Yep, he's very well-rounded, but on average, he's averaging about 11 and 12. Couple 13s, couple 14s, but yeah. Um, you know, because he's 21, that's not that bad. But for me, man man wants a specialist, in it? I, I want specialists in position. I don't want guys that are shit, but um, they're just okay at everything. I want someone that's really good at something. You get me? If you get what I'm trying to say, yeah. This guy, he's just bang average. I don't know why those stars say that, but man, don't really trust these scouts anyway. So, and this, you've got man like Brennan Johnson, bro. I don't know why this guy looks fucking familiar. I don't know why. I think I've seen him probably play live or so. I don't know, but um, yeah. According to the game, he is a 20-year-old right winger. Um, 13 dribbling, 11 flair. He's got mad pace, but unfortunately, you know, you know, he's not, he's not that bad. Let's let's be real. He's twenty. He's not, he's not that bad. Like I can't lie. For for his age, thirty finishes not that bad. Thirteen passing is not that bad. Like he's he's doing his thing, and he's got thirteen decisions, thirteen composure. Let's be real. For his age, yeah, he's not a bad footballer at all. Um, I wouldn't put him cam right now, but you can, and that's shadow striker. Fucking, I'm too good at this. I knew it, bruv. I always say that. I don't care. Listen, yeah? As a shadow striker, you can get away with it. And as a cutting inside right winger, because I don't think... You know what? What am I talking about? He's a left winger. Yeah, I don't think you should put him on the right. Put him on the left. But then again, you can put him on the right because he's got 13 crossing. Anyway, man, like Brendan Johnson, very good player. All right, next you've got man, like Philip Zinkanago on loan from Watford, bruv. I remember this guy um, in game. I wouldn't really recommend you use him. He's 26, he's got 11 passing. That's all you really need to know. He's got 12 dribbling and he's a fucking winger at the age of 26. Gee, there's a reason why Watford 
have loaned him to flipping Nottingham Forest because he's just not levels. Can't lie. So, unless you've got my like Joe Lolly. Um, fringe player. Well, um, he's one of your best players. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what the hell you lot are doing. Um, yeah, anyway, 14 dribbling, 13 flair. So he's okay on the ball. He's one of them cut inside guys, but he's got 11 acceleration on that right wing. So he's probably an advanced playmaker out out wide in it so he's cutting inside he's basically a cam um the reason why i say that is because he's got good composure and good decisions as well um the only problem with that is that you can't really pass so as a cam i would have to make him attack make him cut inside but be more going forward with shooting and stuff make him take more risks shooting wise because passing is not really his cup of tea can't lie safe anyway man like joe lolly he's not that bad he's one of their best players let's be real man like lolly bruv safe. and this you've got my like zande silver cool um who's this guy he's he reminds me of flipping nuno tavaj bruv that's what he reminds me of because he's fast and that's about it let's be real um he's 24 as well he's got seven decisions like come on do you even know where you are right now to be having seven decisions, bruv. Let's be real. You see what I mean by a man just have bare confidence, bruv. Like, listen, listen, as a footballer, it's dead. And you will never sign him. That's all I can say. So, and next, we've got my like Alex Maiten. Um, cool. So, he's got very good pace. Um, but that's pretty much it. He's 19. So, man can't really get onto someone like that. But still, come on. Um, you know, you know, 16 flares, very good. 13 dribbling is good as well. Um, end product it, it does need work but he's good at passing but I'm talking mainly the mental ability needs the most work in it and I mean decisions need to go up composure needs to go up concentration needs to go up I don't care about bravery dribbling will go up naturally you know what he's got a bright future I'll give it that because he's, lo he's looking like he's got a bit of fundamentals there in terms of end product in terms of passing he looked like he looked like a, a potential assist machine. Can't lie. So, and next we got my like Lewis Graben, um, impact sub at the age of thirty three. Can't really blame him. Um, his natural fitness is fourteen, but anyway, um, fourteen finishing very good. So yeah, I'll make him a poacher because fuck it, I don't care. Um, just make him come off the bench if you if you are doing that. But probably you're starting for me, and yeah, only because you can shoot. That's the only reason why you're starting. Can't lie. And yeah, you can actually finish. So that's all I need you for, really. Yeah, my like Lewis Graben. See. And next, you've got my like Keenan Davis. This is the guy that I saw Jack Grealish say in one interview that he's very good, but he just needs to work on his actual footballing ability. That's basically what he said. And as you can see, he wasn't lying. Um, his stats were worse than this. He's definitely improved, but I mean, probably by one or two. And I mean, finishing was probably 10 or 11. Now it's 12. Well done. You're doing very well. Um, yeah, I can't lie, he's he's white. He's white. You'll never use this guy, you'll definitely terminate the loan, can't lie. And lastly, we've got my like Sam Surridge. Cool. Um 22, he's a pressing forward, 15 work rate, 15 determination, 30 aggression, 12 finishing. Yeah, forget about it. He's he's terrible. Um yeah, he's 22 as well. Come on. Um I would sell him. Where did you sign him from? Stoke. Stoke fucking robbed you guys, can't lie. Two million for that. You might as well have bought a flipping waffle machine. You would have actually made some nice fucking waffles, bruv. Fuck it. But anyway, um, this is Nottingham Forest, yeah? So let's just put it like this. Um, this is a fucking massive club. They're back in the Premier League. So that's an, um, that's, that is a massive thing. Like, guys that were watching Nottingham Forest back in the day, their children didn't believe them when they said, listen, we used to be a big club, son. The, 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 the son was like, you're lying to me, dad. <laughs> that's, that's what was happening, yeah? And um, right now, you can see they're back in the flipping Premier League, which is a big thing. They, unlike a certain team in London that wears red, have won the Champions League in it. Like, I, I can definitely appreciate that when I see it, you get me? Man don't lie to their fan base. They're probably real. They probably got real fans that aren't fucking retarded, yeah? And believe anything they see. So, yeah, um, that's what Nottingham Forest are, and I respect it. But unfortunately... The game doesn't respect you and the game says that your team is shit. That's what it says. That's just the honest truth. And yeah, um, out, of, out, out of everyone that I saw, I'll probably sign like maximum zero players. Let's be real. And yeah, that's all I can say. So yeah, shout out no one apart from myself for um, the video idea. And yeah, you know, if you like that video, like that video. Um, subscribe to the content you know what to expect from me and I'll see you in the next episode, bro. See